Good morning. Does anybody remember what we were studying before we left school? I'm going to give you a clue. We were studying bees. Okay, now we need to think, think, think. What are the three main parts of a bee? There's the head, and the middle part is the thorax, and the last part is the abdomen. Now, how many legs does a bee have? One, two, three, four, five, six. And it has two antenna and two wings. I'll show you a picture of a real bee. Now this bee is a close up picture. Bees are not this big. Can you see it? There it is. This is a picture of a honeybee. Can you see all the parts? Okay. Does anybody know, what do you do if you see a honeybee out in the wild? Should you run? No. Should you catch it? No. Remember that back here on the abdomen, a honeybee has a stinger. So when you see a honeybee, it's a good idea to just leave them alone and be still like a statue until it flies away. I'm going to teach you guys a little song about what to do if you see a honeybee, okay? So put your hands up like this. It's, I think you might know this song too. I'm looking for a tiny honeybee. Won't you come and take a look with me? I'm looking for a tiny honeybee. I'll stay still so she doesn't sting me. Someday before summer is over, everybody who made one of these, I'll try to get it to you so you can have it at home, okay? Okay, put on your science brain and your ears because I'm gonna teach you a science word. The word is called pollen. Do you know what that is? Has anybody ever seen some yellow powdery stuff that's kind of floating in the air right now? Or sometimes if you see it on the sidewalk or on your car and it makes you sneeze, achoo! That yellow stuff comes from a plant and it's called pollen. Pollen is what is inside the middle of a flower. And have you ever seen a bee on a flower? I have in my garden. So bees, they like to go, I'll pretend like my fingers are flowers. They go from flower to flower to flower. And they're spreading the pollen from this flower to this flower to this flower. And that is another big science word called pollination. Can you say that? Pollination. It's a long word and it's when pollen goes from flower to flower to flower. Bees are pollinators. They help flowers grow by spreading their pollen. Okay, I'm going to show you a picture. This is a 
close-up picture of a bee gathering some pollen. Do you see that little yellow powdery stuff? That's gonna get stuck to its legs and its abdomen and its thorax. And then when it flies to the next flower, it can help deliver it to the other flower because they are pollinators. Okay, I'm gonna ask you some questions and we'll see if you can remember all the science words. So where do bees find the pollen? Do they find it in the kitchen? Do they find it um, in the grass? Do they find it in a flower? Yeah, they find pollen in a flower. Okay, how do bees collect pollen? Hmm. Do you remember that big long science word? They are pollinators. They collect it through pollination. Pollination. They go from flower to flower to flower and it gets stuck on their legs and their thorax and their abdomen. You remember the word? Pollination. And what are some of the bee parts? I'll show my model again. There's a head and a middle part is what? Thorax and an abdomen. Six legs. Can you imagine if I had six legs? I would be able to run so fast and two wings and two antenna. And what do they have? One at the back, one stinger. Okay, I'm going to give you all a science badge. Boop, you can put it on your shirt. I'll put mine on my shirt. In case anybody said, it says, ask me about bees. Maybe you could just make one at home with a piece of paper and hold it up and then a family member could ask you about bees. That could be your homework. You could go at, tell your mom or your dad or your babysitter all the things that you know about bees. Okay. Bzz. See you later. <laughs>